Hello and welcome to India's biggest marketing show, Kiska Brand Bajega. Our guest for today is a charismatic diva who's had a roller coaster journey from Toronto to Tinseltown. She's one of the best performers Bollywood has ever witnessed, with grace that's unparalleled and energy that's infectious. And now she's expanding her horizons by foraying into not just singing but also direction and production. And if that wasn't enough to make your jaw drop. Hear me out. She's the only Bollywood celebrity featured in a list of 2024 top 10 most sexiest women in the world, among notable names like Megan Fox and Kendall Jenner. Please welcome the dazzling Nora Fateh. Welcome to Kiska Brand Bajega. How are you doing? Thank please, you please have a seat. Nora, you were born and raised in Canada. Then you've decided to move to India from being a part of Big Boss to a very well-known name in Bollywood. You've had quite a phenomenal rise. What do you have to say about your journey so far? Um, you know, a lot of people ask me that question, and I feel like you can't ever want to do anything differently because it, it's already set up for you the way it is. So it was destined for my journey to go the way it was going because, as someone who came into this industry as an outsider and No connection to even yeah, India, let alone industry. I yes. mean, it had to be that way. I had to do a few films in the beginning that didn't work, and then hustle even more, and then start doing South songs, and then start doing whatever came my way. And then when the reality shows came, which was like Big Boss and and Chalak, when they came, I had to do them because that was the only way for me. To be recognized, yeah. but it had to it had to work out for me like that, and I'm so happy that that was my journey because some people don't even have a journey, so I feel blessed. How difficult was it, Nora, when you came in, because you had to speak a language which you probably didn't understand, right? And not just working in Hindi films, you worked in films across India, and now that you you speak great Hindi, right? How was the journey of you trying to master the language? When I decided to come to India, yeah. I felt like a little bit naive okay. and overexcited. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm gonna, you know, take over and become the star, and it's gonna be amazing. And you know, coming with an international agency, so I'm gonna get pampered and go to all these auditions and limousines and stuff. Oh, what the nieta? It was quite a crazy reality check. But when I was going through that. Initial stages of trying to figure out what what is the scene here, what's going on, and then analyzing the industry from all the people I spoke to, even down to the drivers that were working in the agency. All of their advice was: Listen, if you're really going to take this seriously and invest your time here, you have to learn the language. So I I took that and I ran with it, <laughs> and I'm like, that's number one. What I did that helped was not have a social life okay. for a good year or two. Really, you were so years. focused on so just focused. learning. Indeed. Yeah, I mean, I was in a house of full of models because it was an international mm -hmm. agency, yes. and you know they were going out and socializing and you know living their best life, and I was just locked up in that room with my Hindi teacher. And when he's not there, I would it would just be me in the television watching all these serials and all these reality shows and TV and songs and films and just really trying to. You know, make up for all the other years that the other actresses had to to master the language that I didn't. So it was me running against time. <laughs> Your journey from being a participant on Jalak Dikhlaja to becoming a judge on the same show just a few years later is truly remarkable and speaks volumes about the phenomenal rise. Nora, has television played a big role in making you a household name? Look, television is not easy. You know, most of the people who do well on television, whether they're judging, hosting, or whatever it is, it's because they have a charisma and they have sort of a, an aura and a presence. Not all actors have that. My journey was so special because people could see that you can start from here and then come here. Yeah. It's not impossible. True. And mine is even more special because I'm not even from here. So people are like, they feel motivated and inspired. Uh, for me, when I sat on that chair as a judge and watched those contestants, and you know, gave the comments that I gave, I totally could relate to them sure. because I was there, you know, just five years ago. If you asked me five years ago, do you see yourself judging in five years? I, I would probably say no, you know. But I've put a lot of hard work and effort, sure. and God has been so great, and the people around me have really, really put a lot of effort in opening doors for me, and I've prepared myself for certain opportunities. So I'm really glad that. I got lucky. No, I don't think you've just got lucky. I'm sure there's a lot of hard work. Definitely, that, well, a bit of a bit of luck. <laughs> a bit of luck as well. Yes, nothing can happen without luck. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now let's. You know, I always have wanted to ask you this. A big part of brand Nora 
are the songs that you're associated yeah. with, yeah. right? Now, from Dilber to Saki Saki, you know, was this a conscious decision, Nora? Mm -hmm. Saying, you know, songs will give me that shortcut mm -hmm. to being again a popular name. It will, you know, it will give me that recognizability factor. Or was that again a planned move? You've always been a dancer, so I wanted to understand the method behind this. I was never a dancer. Were you um, never a dancer? No, I, I, I was self-taught. I taught really? myself in my bedroom. I taught okay. myself with my high school friends. That you know, it was very, very amateur. Very how everybody does it. You know, right. I was just looking at the industry and wanted to understand why certain people flop, why certain people work. Um, I was just analyzing every aspect of the industry and why certain people have been around for a good 10, 15 years. Then I was like, okay, I got to see a void in the industry. What is the void? And I need to fill it because I wasn't able to get opportunities through the auditions I was doing. Okay. I did films as an actor, but it wasn't the mainstream commercial level that I wanted and I felt I deserved. And I was like, okay, what is the void here? Okay, nobody's really performing Okay. At that dance level. Mm -hmm. um, any of the songs that are happening in films, all the actresses that were doing it, except for Katrina at the time, nobody was really performing, performing. Um, okay. Because they lacked dance ability. So I was, okay, maybe I could use this as an opportunity to come in from the back door. <laughs> and I worked on that level of dance, but I also worked on the aura, how to play with the camera, how to catch the audience through my eyes and expressions. Because I used to also uh, analyze that you may do a good song, but if you're a foreigner, you're not expressing right. You're not lip syncing right. She mm -hmm. doesn't understand what the lyrics are, so I'm not really feeling it when she's performing on stage. So I said, I cannot be that girl. <laughs> I'm, I'm really amazed. I'm quite surprised as to the focused approach mm -hmm. that you've had. That's and, and, the only way, though. But the fact that you were focused enough, you were conscious about what you were doing, and you were completely self-aware. The word you used, awareness, and I think presence of mind, and being alert is very important. And I, and I thank my upbringing for that because, you know, I had a rough upbringing and, you know, my days in Canada were not that easy and I was right. quite a hustler. So we've spoken about you being a performer, but now the fact that you're a singer, right? And kudos to you and congratulations to you because there's a great Warner deal that you've just signed, yes. right? And it's, it's a big moment for a Bollywood celebrity or for a celebrity to actually have an international deal, right? So what do you have to say about that? I started, I ventured into the singing career when Dilber released and when Dilber released, I saw the international hype for that song and the records that it was breaking. And I wanted to ride that wave and open up another market and another, I would say, another lane of my career. And that would be singing. And that led me to sing the FIFA World Cup anthem, Like yes. the Sky, last in 2022. And then I performed at the closing ceremony in Qatar for the World Cup. So that career outside of India is doing right. so well. Really? Okay. And it opened up a new fan base and created a more diverse audience for me. And Warner Global is working on more of my international music and creating more of a presence globally. Yeah, I got my foot over there and my foot here. <laughs> Did you ever think you could sing? Or again, how was that? No, I mean, not like that. I never thought it was like some Mariah Carey or Whitney, <laughs> Whitney Houston, you know, but I'm like, I have style in my voice. But you've worked on your singing. You've yeah, done yeah, I've worked on my singing. Um, and I'm very selective on the kind of songs right. that I do. They have to be urban, stylized. Um, Set trends. Yeah, it's got to be very trendy and more cool, swagged up. And um, I want to merge my dance ability and my music together in a global scale. We, we spoke about the FIFA anthem, right? That you were a part of, which also where you, we saw you collaborating with international artists. Yes. Right? Again, was that a conscious decision to actually grow your presence as brand Nora for other markets? Yeah, for sure. I mean, anyone in the world, if they got the opportunity to sing for FIFA World Cup, they would do it, you know? <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm I didn't sure. even think about it. I was like, yes. And the way I was presented at the closing ceremony, my entrance into the field. Oh, we saw it. It was amazing. Absolutely yeah, stunning. I mean, I feel so blessed for that and it's such a big deal. I think hard work pays off. Yeah. I, I'm saying you've manifested this you and not just manifested this and not just you've been lucky, but you've actually worked hard for this. Now let's come to brand endorsements, mm -hmm. right? You've been a part of brands like Dabur, Cake Zone, Cult Fit. What are the criteria in your mind mm -hmm. before you say yes to selecting or signing on the dotted line for a brand? It's got to resonate with me. I got to okay. understand it. The aesthetics need to align with me. 
And it's got to be believable. Obviously, money too, but you know, it's got to be believable. Uh, that was such a big brand, and it's a household name, right, right. and the masses use it a lot. Right. So I want to connect with the masses. Cake Zone is a great partnership. Cults because it's fitness, yeah. and we have a very good partnership. In today's landscape, celebrities are getting involved in equity deals as well. Would you be interested in having a stake in a company? And if so. Which sectors would interest you the most? See, now I'm in a different yeah, space sure in my of, life. A lot of CEOs, CMOs watching the show, <laughs> right? So, what's out there? Can we manifest some brand equity yeah. partnerships here? There was a time where I really wanted to be like a face of a beauty brand, okay? Because I feel like I have great skin, or a face of a hair care brand because I have great hair, but it, it hasn't come to me. So now I feel like I'm in this headspace where I'm like, okay, I want to make my own beauty brand. Mm -hmm. um, instead of attaching myself with another brand, because when you do, you're on a contract, and you know that's for a couple of years. And I'm like, maybe, maybe it's been a sign that it hasn't come yet because I should be doing my own. So I might work on doing that, creating my own makeup line or my beauty brand. But if there's a big opportunity that comes my way and it's an A-list big international brand. Why not? I get the feeling that the fact that you've charted your own territories, I'm sure the next season we have you, mm -hmm. you will be an entrepreneur and have an own beauty line. Never as well. know. Never I mean... know. Never know. So you've been a producer, right? You've directed uh, yeah. uh, your videos as well. I, I, and kudos to you again. What I saw in the song was you gave credit to all the dancers, always, right? which which doesn't really normally happen, always, right? Yeah. And thus you push the envelope. You've done something new, right? Any any plans to direct long format? Any any plans to actually venture out into OTT? So, what are your forthcoming plans, Nora? Apart from films and international uh, label, I have a lot of things I need to do, and I have my goal list, and I haven't even done half of it yet. Oh, lovely! Um, but I got to work on that. I have to create a very big impact in the global scene, which I'm going to work towards in the next five years. Uske baad, I think hopefully when I when I've done everything, had my babies also, then maybe I can think about doing that. I would be excited to do that You'd though. Be excited I would definitely be excited to do that. And I, and I think there's a chance I could in the future. Inshallah. With over 47 million followers on Instagram, how involved are you, Nora, with your own social media? Do you do competition benchmarking and also follow industry trends? So in the initial stages, I was doing research and following up and learning about everything. But to now, I don't look at anything that anyone's doing. You don't? No. Um, my social media is very filtered. My algorithm is very filtered. I don't know what's happening at all uh, because I need to focus. Okay. I need to focus on me. I need to focus on the projects I'm doing because now I'm on a different stage in life. Right. But what I do uh, with social media is I use it as my place for presentation where I can show my fans what I'm doing, show them my personality, my work, um, and and just grow it as a platform for brands to be interested to work with me um, and other film people to work with me. It's really, I would just take social media as a place of work for me. It's not okay. somewhere where I'm chilling, looking at other people. I, I got to keep my aura clean and protected and my mental space protected. Otherwise, how am I going to take over the world? <laughs> now let's move on to our next segment, Everything Digital. We've actually put something together. Okay. These are not the nasty things, okay. Mike. Okay. These are just fun things that people are okay. talking about, Nora. Okay. Right. And I'm on your own feeds and on 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 internet. Right. And I'm sure you don't have time to do that. Okay. So we've actually got them out okay. for you, which is our next segment. We'd love you to react to them. Okay. So let's, let's go. Do it. So the first one. Zindagi na acha to aise lagi hai, aise main hi Nora Fatima. I've seen this. You've seen this, way. right? How do you react to the memes that? I love, I love memes. You love memes? Yeah, I've got such a Gen Z mentality, you know, and they also help popularize you more. Yeah, of so course, I'm good. Of Let course. The, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Okay. <laughs> The next one. Hey, Bobia, ke paas ab bina dil ham kahan jaye? How do you manage the male gaze? How the 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 I so know. much of love from your it's fans? It's cute. <laughs> it's cute. I mean, there's a typo there, but it's still cute. AI is everywhere these days. So my team has whipped up some special movie posters using AI just for you. On a scale of one to ten, how likely are you to consider this? And what aspects would you research for the particular role that you'd see? Would you like to play someone like an older film actor who actually defined pop culture at that point of time? I would. You'd love I to? I would, yeah, because I would want to know what went behind all that. There's another actor here, Parveen Babi. Oh, so she's had a roller coaster of a life. Yes. Oh, would, you, would you want to actually get into her mind oh, and play a character like that? Not just her mind. I would want to understand what actually happened around her. 
The truth. You'll be intrigued by that. Uh, of course. Lovely. Next one. Helen. Oh, yeah. I've, th- I've said this a thousand times already in interviews. Uh, if there's a biopic or something, I would love, love, love to portray her. A purpose, Nora, is a very big thing today, mm-hmm. right? Today, brands are owning purpose, mm-hmm. right? What we've done, right, as a part of Kiska Brand Bajega, have got some initiatives which we'd like you to consider for purpose-driven initiatives which are an extension of Brand Nora. Mm-hmm. And we've got some recommendations for you. Okay. And we'd love you to react to them, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So let's have a look at the first one. So we've got an association for retired background dancers mm. because you've come from a performer community, yes, yes, right? Yes. Not too much is being done for them. So we've put together something called Encore. So what do you think? Would you like to do something like this, Nora? Yeah, definitely. Bollywood is Bollywood because of dance. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, it, it's, yes. Without dance, it would just be like another film industry. Right. Um, and these dancers put their heart and soul. And I watch them all the time, you know, like, look, I traveled the world. I work with so many people around the world, different dance communities. And the dance community in India, they're different. You know, like, they give their all. So why not actually put together or an initiative that is taken to look after the well-being of someone who put their hard work and soul into their craft? Right. And that was the thought behind something like this. I love this. it. Next one. The insight, Nora, was that there are a lot of orphan girls who've never really seen their world mm-hmm. beyond mm-hmm. their orphanage. I agree. And yes. you love to travel. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. We've, and I love young girls. You, yeah. We've thought of an initiative mm-hmm. where you could actually be taking them for their first vacation of mm. their life. This we is actually, a beautiful idea. We've put together... Open wings? Open wings. It's oh, her first I holiday adventure. It. And the last one. A platform to encourage young girls to take a stand against cyberbullying, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Because there's so much of negativity. This is a great idea also. This is called Cyber Safe Sisters. I wonder how you would uh, tie this up with the cyber police. You know what? A lot of cases, Nora, don't go reported. So I'm saying so with, with someone who can speak, right? Mm-hmm. And, and right from counseling to having a toll-free number, mm-hmm. not just talk about the initiative, but actually walking the talk. Mm-hmm. Is something that mm-hmm. we feel that you could do. I think it's well, a really good idea. Being an independent and fearless woman out there. <laughs> right? So these were some of the uh, uh, NGOs or purpose-driven ideas that we thought Definitely that Brand Nora can consider. Yeah, purpose-driven. Consider. And I can see why you selected what you selected. I mean, with, with the Cyber Safe Sisters uh, initiative, it's because obviously like I, I've put myself out there on social media and I yeah. use social media as a platform to help me in my career. I don't care a damn about what other and people I, I really say. don't care. Yeah, you don't care a damn. And that's the way it should be. I know be. some people say they don't care. I genuinely you, don't and care. And that's the way it should <laughs> No, that's the way it should be because it will, it will, you know, if you want to think about other people whom you don't have a control over, mm-hmm. you're not going to do what you do. Yeah. We come to the last part of our game. It's a simple game. So all you need to do is guess the price. There's some fun items that we have for you. Okay. And you have to guess the price in Indian rupees of those items, right? So let's have a look. What is this, a pocket? One stash pants, yes. Okay. It's a bigger pocket for a pant. Right? What do you think, how much would this cost? Okay, about 5,000 rupees. 5,000 rupees. So let's see how close are you to this. 1,100. It's okay. Lipstick assistant. Have you used them? No, this is hilarious. <laughs> uh, I would say about 700 rupees. 700 rupees, yeah. My... 200 rupees, damn. Much closer. True umbrella. <laughs> These are, these are not made up products. 500 rupees? 500 rupees. Why is this so expensive? <laughs> Let's the, find that out. The jeans are so cheap. <laughs> You've been a jack of all trades. My last question. Okay. Nora, right? What are the plans for future? Where does Brand Nora go from here? Ooh, well, Brand Nora has to... So, 2022, we did a global stage, right? Yes. The FIFA World Cup. In the next couple of years, I have to do another one like that. Okay. Um, I'm aiming for that huge, huge platform. Um, I need to really make a mark in my acting in Hindi cinema. Right. I'm very, I'm really working hard at that. And on that note, Nora, I've, you know, I met you for the first time, but, but I, I am inspired. Oh, thank you. I'm inspired by your journey. I wouldn't be able to do it without the support of the audience. In the end I'm of sure. the day, you know, Jobia, whatever we discuss, if they didn't support and love me and uplift me. I don't think I'd be the brand nor if it's hate today. So I always want to thank them for that. And on behalf of everyone watching Kiska Brand Bajiga, the audience, I'd like to thank you and wish you all the very best for all your end of years. Thank you for calling me. Thank you. And our pleasure. Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, Nora Fateh. Thank, thank you. you.
Thank you. That brings us to the end of today's episode of India's favorite marketing show, Kiska Brand Bajega. Until next time, see you and take care.